hello and welcome to another video in this video we are going to go over steps number 61 through 70 on the land string manipulation by building a cipher a free code camp certification under the scientific competing with python so with that said let's go ahead and get started but first if you are here for the first time you can watch the other parts of the video that's from step number one through 50 using the link on the top right corner of this video and remember to hit the subscribe button if you enjoy watching this kind of content where we do coding challenges from different platforms so let's get started with step number 61 so next inside the else block declare a variable called key underscore char and assign it the value of key at the index key underscore these modulars the length so uh, up to this point we are building a cipher and uh, we, in the last step we were able to declare a function and we passed in two parameters and uh, we also passed in an if statement now in this particular step we are going to add the code block for the else statement and what you are required to do is declare a variable called key underscore char and assign it the value of key at the at key value of key at the index key underscore index modulus this so add brackets inside here we are going to pass in key underscore index and modulus okay so uh, it says that uh, inside the else block we should have a variable called key underscore char which we already declared and we are going to assign it the value of key at the index key underscore index modulus the length of the key so at the index key underscore index modulus the length of the key so what you're supposed to have here is the length of the key so we are going to put the key inside the brackets add another parenthesis at the end here and enclose this entire thing inside the square brackets and uh, let's let's check to see if the code passes and uh, so we are getting an error and uh, the error says uh, you should assign key underscore this so this is what you're supposed to have here inside so this should be replaced by these and uh, now let's check the code and the code passes let's proceed to step number 62 in step number 62 you will need to increase the key index count for the next iteration to do this after the line you just added after this line that you just added uh, in the same code block use addition assignment operator to increment key underscore index by one so remember we did how we saw earlier how to do increments and uh, that's the the solution you're going to apply here so for this we need the key underscore index and we are going to increment it by one so that's begin with the plus followed by the equal sign and finish it by one and let's check our code and it passes correctly let's proceed to the next step it says still inside the else clause here you're going to add a comment that says find the right key character to encode so i uh, remember we said that um comments in python are preceded by an ash symbol so for this we're going to add the ash symbol followed by the text find the right key character to encode and uh, we are going to check our code and uh, if it passes correctly then we proceed to the next step which is step number 64 it says the dot index method is identical to the dot find method 
but it draws a value error exception if it's unable to find sub, uh, the substring. So what's the solution to that? After incrementing the key underscore index, we are going to declare a variable called offset. So here we are going to declare a variable called offset and uh, find the index that key underscore char has in the alphabet and assign it to the offset. Use the dot index to find the index. So uh, we have already declared this, so we are going to use these to find the index in the value. So for this, we need to say offset is equals to alphabet dot index and inside here we are going to pass in key underscore char key underscore char and let's check the code to see if everything passes correctly and it does so let's proceed to the next step and that's step number 65 and it says above the offset variable create another comment saying define the offset and the encrypted letter so remember we said uh, comments are uh, written in python uh, using the hash symbol followed by the comment and uh, that's what we're going to do here which is above the offset uh, we have added a comment that says define the offset and the encrypted letter so let's check our code to make sure everything passes correctly and it does so let's proceed to step number 66 and it says at the moment your function prints some strings but these values cannot be used by other parts of code to perform any actions for that purpose you need to use return statement you need to write return followed by the value that the function should return. Once the return statement is found, that value is returned and the execution of the function stops, proceeding to the next line of code after the function call. So, remove print calls from your function and return encrypted text. So, basically, we need to get rid of these two print statements here and I use the return. And uh, what are we going to return? We are going to return encrypted text. Encrypted underscore text. And uh, with that, let's check our code to make sure everything passes correctly. And it does. And it does so let's proceed to the next step which is step number 67 okay for step number 67 it says call call your function passing text and custom key as the arguments store the return value of the function call in a variable called encryption so first of all we need to call our function and to call our function the name of our function is vinegar so we need to call that here by writing vinegar here vinegar here and we are going to pass in two values that is text comma followed by custom key custom underscore key and it says we are going to store this entire value in a variable called encryption so at the beginning we are going to add an equal sign and add the name encryption and let's check our code to make sure everything is correct and uh, we seems we have an error and it's a spelling on the word encryption so let's replace that and check our code on the spelling of vinegar and uh, yeah so we have a spelling mistake on this here so let's rectify that and uh, as you can see it was a spelling mistake on the word here yeah, so let's uh, as now the step has passed let's proceed to the next step and that is step number 68 
In step number 68, it says that now try to print encryption to see the actual output. So this time you're going to pay attention on the console here. And uh, so for that, we need to print brackets passing encryption. And as you can see, we have some output in our console here. So let's check our code and proceed to the next step, which is step number 69. It says encryption and decryption are opposite processes and your function can do both with a couple of tweaks. Add a third parameter called direction to the function definition. Also comment out the last two lines to avoid error in the console. So first, in here in the function, you need to add a third argument, which is direction. And at the bottom here, we need to comment out the print statement. And to comment out, remember we are using the hash symbol. And... Uh, the last two lines to avoid so it says that we should comment the last two lines and uh, now let's check our code to make sure that the step is correct which it is and let's proceed to step number 70 which will be the last in this video all you need to do now is multiply offset by the direction in the new index assignment the multiplication operator in python is the asterisk so inside here they are saying we should multiply the offset by the direction so offset by direction and uh, we are making use of the asterisk to perform the multiplication so let's make sure that's correct and it is so in the next video we will be proceeding from step number 71 all through step number 80 Thank you for watching and in case you encounter any challenges, feel free to ask them in the comment section below. Stay tuned for the next part of this amazing series.